Friends, in this video, I am going to discuss with you a very important topic from physical chemistry. The topic which I would like to discuss with you is the concept of order and molecularity. The concept of order and molecularity are very important to understand chemical kinetics chapter from physical chemistry. We know that chemical kinetics is the important branch of physical chemistry in which we study rate of reaction. We study speed of reactions in chemical kinetics. Chemical kinetics is exactly opposite to thermodynamics. In thermodynamics, we study direction of a reaction and in chemical kinetics, we study the speed of reaction. Chemical kinetics is very important branch of physical chemistry because from chemical kinetics, we get the idea about transition states of chemical reaction and also we get the information about the reaction mechanism, reaction pathways of a chemical reaction. So it is very important to study the topic chemical kinetics and in the chemical kinetics two important terminologies are very important and these two important terminologies are order and molecularity of the reaction. In this video I am going to discuss only molecularity because it will take some time to understand the molecularity and then in the next video I will discuss what is exactly order of reaction. Let us understand what is molecularity of the reaction. Now friends, to understand the molecularity of the reaction, first of all, you should know whether reaction is taking place in a single state or it is taking place in a multi-state. So if there is a single state pathway, then you can guess the molecular directly by looking at the number of molecules. And if it is a multi-state reaction, then you have to, first of all, you have to predict the slow step of the reaction. Out of many steps which are involved in a multi-step reaction, you have to predict the slow step reaction. Let us see the concept properly. So to understand the molecularity of the reaction, you have to classify the reactions into single step reaction and multi-step reaction. So first of all, you should know whether reaction is a single step reaction or a multi-step reaction. If reaction is single step, see the number of molecules. See the number of molecules involved in that reaction and that number of molecules will be the molecularity of the reaction will be the molecularity of the reaction now for a multi-step reaction you have to see out of many steps which is the slow step of the reaction you have to see which is a slow step of reaction by knowing this slow step then see number of molecules involved in a slow step number of molecules involved in a slow step and number of molecules involved in a slow state will be the molecularity of the reaction. So to predict the molecularity of a reaction, first of all, you should know whether reaction is a single step or a multi-step reaction. Now, if you have predicted reaction is a single step, you have predicted reaction is a single step, then see the number of molecules. Number of molecules in that single step reaction will be the molecularity of the reaction. If reaction is a multi-step reaction, go for a slow step. Go for a slow step. Out of many steps, find out which is slow step and then see how many molecules are involved in the slow step. And that will be your molecularity of the reaction. That will be your molecularity of the reaction. Friends, again I am repeating. To predict the molecularity clearly, first of all, you have to predict whether reaction is a single step or a multi-step reaction. If you have predicted reaction is a multi-step or a single step, then you can predict the molecularity of the reaction. If for a single step reaction, number of molecules involved in that reaction will be the molecularity of the reaction. And for a multi-step reaction, first of all, you have to predict which is the slow step of a reaction. And by looking at this slow step, see the number of molecules involved in that step and that will be the molecularity of the reaction. So this is the difference between Slow, uh, this is the difference between single step and multi step reaction. Let us simplify the concept by taking proper examples. Let us take four examples A plus G, B gives product P. Second, A plus B gives product P. Third, a plus B plus C gives product P. Fourth, A plus B plus C gives product P. So, friends, I have written four reactions here and you have to predict the molecularity of the reaction. So, if I ask you, what is 
the molecularity of the reaction for these four reactions what will be your answer if your answer is yes if your answer is s then it is wrong because you cannot predict the molecularity of the reaction by looking at the chemical reactions for that you should know whether reaction is a single step reaction or multi step reaction so first of all you should say that we will find out whether reaction is single step or a multi step reaction then and then we can predict the molecularity of the reaction now assume that this is a single step reaction this is a multi step reaction this is a single step reaction and this is a multi step reaction now we know which reaction is a single step reaction and which reaction is a multi step reaction now we can easily predict the molecularity of the reaction for a single step reaction let us see as i discussed for a single step number of molecules involved in a reaction is the molecularity of the reaction how many molecules are involved two molecules are involved so molecularity is two molecularity is two which is another single step reaction this is a single step reaction this was first single step reaction in which two molecules are involved molecularity is two this is single step reaction how many molecules are involved three molecules are involved a plus b plus c so molecularity of the reaction will be three so for a single step reaction you can directly see how many molecules are involved in that reaction and by looking at those molecules those molecules in that single step reaction you can predict the molecularity of the reaction so for a first reaction a plus b two molecules are involved so molecularity is two in the third reaction three molecules are involved a plus b plus c so molecularity is three so for a single step reaction directly look at the number of molecules but for multi step reaction you cannot say that number of molecules involved in that reaction is the molecularity for that you have to predict out of many step involved in that multi step reaction which is the slow step let us simplify the concept let us rub it out the rub out the single step reaction now this is a multi step reaction assume that this reaction involves two steps assume that this reaction involves two step so let us see this second reaction properly a plus b gives product p now you cannot say two molecules are involved so molecularity is two for a multi step reaction for that you should predict the slow step assume that a reactant a gives intermediate gives intermediate i which reacts with b to form product p so these are the two steps 1 2 in the first step what what has happened so a is converted into intermediate and that intermediate react with second molecule b to form the product p and if this is the slow step and this is the fast step so look here in this slow step how many molecules are involved there is only one molecule that is a so one molecule is involved it means that molecularity of the reaction is one molecularity cannot be two molecularity cannot be two because two molecules are not involved in the slow step you have to see how many molecules are involved in the slow step and one molecule is involved in the slow step so molecularity is one so for a multi step reaction first of all you have to predict the slow step out of many steps which are involved in the reaction you cannot say directly looking at the number of molecule the molecularity of the reaction for that you have to predict the you have to predict the slow step and then and then you can predict the molecularity of the reaction let us take another example which was taken a plus b plus c gives product p gives product p again it is a multi step reaction we have assumed that many steps are involved in the reaction so can you guess the molecularity we cannot guess the molecularity directly looking at the number of molecules again we have to predict the slow step of the reaction assume that a plus b reacts with each other to form intermediate i which reacts with c to form product p this is the pathway of the reaction and first step is slow step and second is fast step see how many molecules are involved in the slow step in the slow step how many molecules are involved two molecules are involved so molecularity is two so friends 
to predict the molecularity of the reaction first of all you should know whether reaction is a single step reaction or a multi step reaction if it is single step directly look at the number of molecule involved the number of molecule involved in that reaction will be the molecularity of the reaction but for a multi step reaction you cannot say the molecularity by looking at the number of molecule for that out of many steps involved you have to predict which one is a slow step and by looking at the number of molecules involved in that slow step you can guess the molecularity of the reaction let us take two more examples A plus B plus C plus D gives product P. A plus B plus C plus product uh, plus D gives product P. Let us one more example. A plus B plus C gives product P. Now, see here, these three reactions are written. Can you guess the molecularity? What, if, what will be the molecularity of the reaction? For that, again, you have to predict which is single step reaction and which is multi step reaction. Let us assume that this is multi step reaction, this is a multi step reaction, and this is a single step reaction. This is a single step reaction. So, for a single step reaction, you can directly predict the molecularity by looking at the number of molecules. This is single step reaction. See number of molecules in what? How many molecules are in what? Three. So, molecularity of this reaction will be. 3 but in case of multi step reaction you have to predict the molecular uh, you have to predict the slow step of the reaction and by knowing the slow step of the reaction you can predict the molecularity of the reaction assume that this reaction involves three steps first reaction involves three step and out of three steps slow step is having two molecules what will be the molecularity Slow step is having two molecules, molecularity will be two. Now, assume that second reaction is also taking place in three steps, and slow step is having three molecules. What will be the molecularity? Molecularity will be three. So, in first and second reaction, four molecules are involved, but molecularity is not four. For that, we have to see which is the slow step. How many molecules are involved in the slow step? In the first reaction in the slow step as i discussed two molecules are involved so molecularity is two in the second reaction three molecules are involved in the slow step so molecularity is three so friends to predict the molecularity first of all we should know whether the reaction is a single step reaction or a multi-step reaction if it is single step reaction number of molecules is the molecularity of the reaction but for a multi-step reaction you have to guess the uh, slow step first and by looking at the number of molecules in this slow step we can guess the molecularity of the reaction so friend it was very simple concept but uh, students are having problem with that but i am sure that from this lecture they will not have any problem in understanding what is the molecularity of the reaction friends if molecularity of the reaction is one it is called as unimolecular reaction if molecularity is two it is called as bimolecular reaction if molecularity is three it is called as termolecular reaction or trimolecular reaction in the next video i am going to explain the order of reaction to differentiate what is the difference between order and molecularity of the reaction i hope that you have understood the concept of molecularity properly thank you once again for watching the video please watch next video for understanding the concept of order thank you